What's up, Plane Crash Survivors? Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to the forest. So, today we are going to be building up the bedroom. Uh, how much of the bedroom I'm going to get done? I don't know. I don't see any reason I can't get the whole thing done. Although, is every is anything in this game ever really done? I mean, you're always adding on. You're thinking new things and all that stuff. But um, I'm going to be doing a majority of the bedroom today. And let me show you what I got going on. By the way, uh, if you didn't watch last episode, you should. These doors are the best thing since... Chicken fingers and french fries, okay? Yes, I'm back on my diet, so, yeah, thinking about food. Anyway, yeah, this th these doors are just... It's the only way to build doors. There's no reason to build other doors. I mean, I guess if you really don't need to get a log sled into a, into a room, you could build one of these doors because they close behind you. They're a little bit easier to get through, you know? But, I mean, when are you not building in a room, right? I mean, you build a room, you're going to need a bunch of stuff in that room, and a bunch of that stuff is probably... Going to be logs, sticks, stone. Guess what? You're going to be able to carry a lot more in with a log sled than without. So that's just kind of how I feel about it. I am really, really happy about these doors. Uh, I also set up one of these doors up in my bedroom. And I'm about to go show you what's going on up there and my ideas for today's episode. There we go. I've also been keeping up building destruction off because I want to build more. Uh, but I think while I'm recording, I will turn it on. If I'm cutting down trees, not recording... Leave it off. That may, let, lets me cut down trees without having to worry about breaking my own buildings and without being interrupted. But we do want some action, you know, in the video. So, yeah, turn that off when I'm recording. So, yeah, this door right here went up no problem. It took me two tries, and it came out fan-freaking-tastic. All right, and now, oh, should I? I'm going to leave this door regular. There's no reason to have two doors like that. Anyway, so looking up here, that's going to be my loft, okay? I'm going to be making a staircase up there. Bada bing, bada boom, Bob's your uncle. And then I'll put a bed up there, a couple little things here and there. And that will be awesome. Um, I think I was supposed... Yeah. Wow, this came out really cool. I'm really happy with it. I like this little overhang here. It, it, it gives the, the build a lot of personality, a lot of, um, I don't know, uh, character. Instead of just being a totally square thing. And that was done by the game. That was an accident. I didn't mean to do it. And I'm going to be honest with you. 90% of the awesome builds I come up with in this game... Are the game like the game's building mechanics acting weird and me rolling with it? Uh, this game's just fantastic. In case you guys don't know about the forest, maybe you don't watch every video or you're new to my channel. The forest is the second best. Just, just my opinion. I'm just stating my opinion. This isn't a fact. This is just an opinion. The forest is the second best survival game in the world. Period. End of story. Stop. Full stop. There you go. Facts. <laughs> no, not facts. <laughs> just facts as far as I'm concerned. Number one survival game. Okay, so uh, with that being said, Seven Days to Die is number, uh, sorry, number two survival game. And with that being said, num Seven Days to Die is number one. Everyone always asks me, Cage, what's your number one? It's seven Days to Die. So, uh, yeah, this game's freaking fantastic. I love the building. I love the enemies, the AI, the the, the crafting. The, the, there's a storyline that isn't overbearing or in your face. Uh, just, I just love it. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to collect a, a bunch more logs, get some logs up there, and we are going to start working on the bedroom. It's going to suck to go up there to pass the nights. I will probably chop down these, uh... See, I don't know if I want to chop these down. Again, these tree houses add a lot of pizzazz to the base. Like, you know what I mean? They just look cool. So, maybe I won't knock them down. Uh, the thing is, I wanted to knock down the trees. Uh, the I wanted to knock down the tree house because I'm going to be tempted to sleep in the tree house instead of going all the way up to the bedroom. But you know what? I'm going to leave the treehouse to get to look awesome. I'm going to go all the way up to the bedroom. I'll still save down here. You know, if I need to save the game, I'll save right here. But when I go to bed, it's going to be in the bedroom. Oh, a couple logs went underneath there, so it's a good thing I left the way under. All right, beautiful. Oh, this thing needs repairs. Why does this thing need repairs? I do not know. All right, well, whatever. I did have enemies in here. They were probably just hitting stuff at some point. The enemies, some enemies do spawn in inside my walls. Uh, if I had this to do all over again, I would have made my walls a lot smaller. Um, I thought I was going to need, like, all this room. I don't need all this room. I mean, honestly, like, I pretty much made all the buildings I want to make. I might make one more, maybe like a farm or something. But, yeah, I really didn't need all this room. That's a, that wall is way too big. It was kind of a mistake. Um, it's all done now, so it's not like it's, you know, whatever. Um, if it's done now, then, okay. I wasted time and resources, but it's done. Uh, but here's the thing. I need to build other things on the walls. I don't need to, I don't need to do anything, but I want to build other things on the walls. So, um, yeah, there's going to be more wall building. As a matter of fact, it might be next episode. Uh, so, we'll see. 
Um, what I'd like to do is I would like to be able to keep off destruction all the time. Uh, but the thing is, the walls are so far away, I have the feeling that enemies can beat on the walls when I'm not even, like, hearing it. So that's what I'm kind of worried about. I want some wall defenses. I want some traps out there. And eventually, I'm just going to leave the walls on, you know, open destruction so the enemies can break in and stuff. Right now, they can't. Uh, although, unless I'm recording. And when I'm recording, I turn it off. Although, I think it's still on right now. But that's because I'm not going to be recording for that long. But, yeah, when I'm recording, I'm going to turn the destruction, the, dis the allowed destruction on so they can break in. When I'm not, I won't. Hey, if they break in, it's not, like, any kind of thing if you guys don't get to see it, right? It's kind of boring. So, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, it's a, it's an ever-evolving uh, Let's Play. We'll see where it goes. kind of interested to see what you guys have to say in the comments, to be honest. So, the end of last episode, I was talking about this hallway. I was looking at it in the dark, and I was trying to gauge how good it would be on YouTube. Because I hate making dark videos. I've watched people make videos that I was really interested in. And because they were so dark, I had to stop watching them. So, I really, really try hard not to make dark videos. So... Is this hallway good enough on YouTube at night without any benefit of anything else? Almost. It's actually really close. Maybe a couple more of these um, skull lamps on this side. And I think this will be pretty good. Even on YouTube. Even on uh, your phone. I mean, maybe all, maybe some phones are different. I don't know. But on my phone, I could, I could see okay. It wasn't bad. So the problem is playing through the dark to, to you know test that out really screwed me over. Because I don't sleep through the night. Uh, my trees aren't growing back like they used to. And I have like... I'm almost out of trees inside my little base here. So we'll see. I might not need any wood. Uh, I might. I, I don't really know, but we're going to kind of see how that goes. Also, uh, rabbits don't reproduce unless you sleep. Um, now, I might have had some reproduce, you know, a couple nights before and like I didn't. Nope. Nope. None of them. See, that's not that's not good, people. That's not good. We need to take care of that. Let's grab that. And and by take care of that. I mean, I need to sleep at night. It is very important to get your sleep. Damn it. And that's what the game's telling me. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go upstairs. We're going to put up some... We're going to go upstairs. We're going to put up some stairs. And I'm going to, like, save the game. Because stairs are very tricky in this game. You never know if they're going to work out the way you want them to or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here. We're going to lay down these stairs. And we'll see how things go. Now, my original idea was to put a platform right here. And then have stairs go here. And stairs go here. Because the door's on the side, and the way this build is worked out, I don't think that's a really good idea. I think we're just going to straight up put some stairs on this side. Um, let me go ahead and take my lighter out. And let's take a look at the stairs. We want custom stairs. Nope, not simple stairs. Simple stairs actually have their uses here and there, but not, not very many, to be honest. Alright, and then we're going to kind of line this up like so. Nope. We need it lined up with the wall. That looks pretty good. I think we could do a little bit better. Nope. Oh, that's right. I forgot. <laughs> uh, allow destruction on. So if you hear them beating on the wall or something, we're going to have to go ahead and defend. I mean, I don't want to be fighting these guys 24-7, but at the same time, I do want to have to fight them here and there. I also want to de defend, the, like, set up some defenses for the wall. A little bit more. That looks pretty decent. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to line it up just about there. Alright, drag it out to... You can drag it out quite a bit. I think that looks pretty good. Is it... Alright, there. I'm going to try this on camera once. And if it doesn't work out, I will pause the video and do it right. You know? Um... See, I don't like how far it is in the wall. Uh, I think we... Not in the wall, but in the, the stair part. Yeah, that, that looks better. Okay, actually, let's bring it back a little bit. And then line it up as best we can. Doesn't look lined up. I can never tell, you know? Okay, let's try that. And then we just drag it down here. Um, come on, a little bit more. What do you think? Uh, it looks pretty straight. I mean, it's not perfectly straight, but that looks pretty freaking straight. All right, now we have the logs we need for this, and we've placed it down. What's the next step? Save the game. You gather all the resources you need to make the item. Then you you put the ghost ghost image down. After that, you save the game. That way, if it's not down right, you you 
Uh, what I used to do is I used to put the ghost image down, save the game, gather all the logs. Not like the way it came out. Reload the game, and then I had to go gather all the logs again. You know? <laughs> gather all the logs first. Wait until the ghost image is down, and then, you know, try your luck. I should probably grab this. Uh, there we go. And see. Looks like we're going to be sleeping through the night here, too. So before I go to sleep, uh, check that out, man. That looks so cool. The crossroads. Oh, it looks awesome. Really happy with that. Uh, but it is time to go to sleep, so let's go to sleep. There was a guy in my base. I just went ahead and capped him. Uh, so that is awesome. We're going to go ahead and save the game. Yeah, let's save the game. I, I need to eat and drink. I need to check the rabbits and everything, but I could do that later. Do that. Do that. Okay, so let's come up here. I would also need to do... I was thinking about the wall as well. Um, I'm going to actually keep the wall the way it is. I was going to actually destroy the wall. And what I was going to do is I was going to destroy it. And then have it go from right about there. Cut right across here. And over to there. Make it a lot smaller. Um, but then I was thinking, let's just leave it the way it is. There's a lot of trees within that wall that I could cut down without headaches. So that's, that's, that is helpful. Uh, it's just I'm thinking like, while destruction is on... I got to go out and do a perimeter check to make sure the wall's not been broken out because it could be broken out in a spot and I wouldn't even know. If you have to do a perimeter check on your own wall, you built your wall too big. But at the same time, perimeter checks sound kind of dope. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Just kind of thinking out loud there. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish this up. We just saved the game, so if it doesn't work out the way we want, we can reload and retry off camera. It, it's such a like a catch-22 whether I build this stuff on camera or not like these ghost images because like the little tricks and, and little tips I, I figure out could be very helpful to people uh, that are trying to do the same thing. But at the same time, like it could be really just kind of, for lack of a better word, boring. So <laughs> anytime I do anything boring, I'm just like, oh, I need to cut this out, you know, <laughs> it's just, but I like to show it a little bit. So I usually try the first one and so you get an idea of what I'm doing and my thought process and then. After that, I'll do it properly off camera. Sometimes it's just, you know, there's no there's no switching up the technique. I come up with a technique, the technique works, but you gotta, you know, mess with it a few times to get it to work 100%. I kind of wish I made these doors open in because of this um, pathway, but there's plenty of room there, I guess. This is gonna be a dope-ass bedroom. Alright, here we go. And 28. Perfect. Alright. Um, okay. Yeah, that's really good. That's really good. I would say as far as, like, a perfection meter, that's about 95% perfect. Uh, there's one other thing I could do to try and make it better. Sometimes if the stairs are kind of, like, janky, if you hit them... Wait, what? Yeah, 11 destruction on. Okay. So it should have taken damage there. If you hit them and then you repair them, it'll straighten them out a little bit. Although that hasn't been doing it. For this season but whatever all right so uh roof roof piece uh so actually am i gonna be doing the roof piece today do i have enough logs for it probably not now the thing with the, the thing with the roof is i would love to put a roof on that's a proper roof right like uh one of these where are they did i, I passed them didn't i yeah i definitely did it's around here somewhere oh uh, there we go i'd like to do a custom roof the problem with the with this roof thing is if you put it up, like the parts on the sides don't get filled in, which is just like I'm not gonna have that, so I can't deal with that that kind of roof. So you do this, and then wait, you do this, and then you kind of raise it up. But you see the you see the corner pieces there; they don't get filled in. I, I really hate that. Uh, I could probably do it like that, and that wouldn't be too bad. A little bit of airflow. What do you think? 76 logs. So there's still a little gap there. Which I, I... I really don't like it. Plus I can't stand on the roof. You know what? The fact that I can't get up on the roof also. Uh, with, with these roofs, these little gaps here need to be automatically filled in. There might be little tricks you could do to fill them in. But I, I'm not playing that game. That sounds like a freaking nightmare. Um, so let's put a, a proper... What I would call a proper roof on here. Alright. Come on. There we go. And that's going to be 74 logs. Okay, so actually a little cheaper. How far does it come out? Okay, so it stays exactly where I need it to. Uh, although I would prefer a roof over this porch. But I guess it's not really a big deal if I don't have a roof over the porch, I guess. 
I don't really know of any way to do it easily, so yeah, that's fine. That's oh no. Hmm. Maybe there's something I could. I'm gonna leave that there. I don't give a shit. Those stairs came out too perfect. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it alone. I'll, I'll do something with this. Maybe I'll hang a, a thing from it or something. Is there anything I can hang from that? Let me see what I can hang from that. You know, I put a little bench under here, and maybe some things on the side, and call it a day, and just assume, and just like assume I meant to do that. <laughs> all right, I heard some enemies down here. Oh, there you are. What's up, my man? Hey, look at all these logs down here. Hey, check it out. Thanks for showing me. Appreciate it. Oh boy, he's not happy. He's like, those were my logs. All right, here we go. Time to dance, my man. You're not even a leather face guy. Ow, you dick. That was a nice hit. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going, chump? Man, I'm so weak. I'm such a... Oh, God. Man. Hit the gym, why don't you? Now, I don't want to wait till full nighttime. Uh, because I, I don't want to... I don't want to, like, stay up through the entire night again. That, that wasn't, uh... That wasn't the best idea, but it's kind of night right now, and I it's it's getting dark, and I know where I want to put these uh, extra lamps down here, these skull lamps. So let's just go ahead and do it right now. Uh, oh, you know what? I might want to put more more chandeliers too. Yeah, whatever. I definitely want more skull lamps. I just don't know if I want to line them up with the other skull lamps or not. I think that's probably the way to go. So let's put this one right here. Uh, it's kind of crooked. Oh boy. Alright, I want to line it up with this one as best I can. But I don't want it to be, like, crooked. Come on. Eh, it's pretty good. Okay. And then, I'm thinking another one right here. Alright. And there we go. Okay. And, yeah, it looks pretty good. And then what I think I'll do is I'll put a couple more chandeliers. Now, these chandeliers are going to take a little bit to make because they're so damned expensive, but that's okay. Uh, where do I want to put them, though? Uh, I think one... Let's see where the... Where's the middle, roughly? Uh, yeah, so that's there. That's there. Okay, so this is probably about the middle. All right, looks pretty good. And another chandelier over here. Right about... There. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I think that'll be good. Do I have any uh, skulls on me? I do not. Alright, so I won't worry about that right now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and sleep through the night. I have gathered... I don't know why I closed that. I'm going to go ahead and sleep through the night. I have gathered all of the logs that we are going to need for this build. So we should be able to finish that roof today. Which is going to be awesome. Alright, and here we are. 74 logs ready to go. I find it easier to build it from up here as well. All right, cool. Let's get this done. Okay, almost there. How much more do we have left? Uh, oh, not that much more. What, 14? By my awesome math. So I definitely got more logs than I needed, but that's okay. Better to get more than you need than not enough. Alright, that should be good enough for the roof. Beautiful. Yeah, this is, uh, this is working out really well. Uh, I don't know how many more logs I'm going to have for this episode, though. Uh, so let's see. I, I should have enough for the bed. I'd like to at least make the bed. And then I'm thinking some end tables, couple of, you know, 
I don't know, a couple of shelves, you know, whatever. This stuff is not going to stay here, so we can just get rid of this now. Shoot, I could have just looked at what the bed cost. Damn it. All right, whatever. I don't think it's a lot. Like, not more than a couple logs. The end tables will take a few more logs, too, but we'll see. All right, there we go. How many more? Two? Yep. So I will just grab two more. These are all the logs we have left for the episode, by the way, so. But we got a lot done today. Hell yeah, we did. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, so the next thing we need to do up here is obviously we need the bed. Um, furniture. Small, but yeah, these beds look like... Somebody said they, like, make beds or something. Um, I kind of want to make, a, like, a real-looking bed. These, these beds right here, shit. <laughs> they really are. I gotta figure out how to make one out of, like, the other... Like, not a functional one, but one that'll look like a bed. All right, I think this is a good spot for it, though. Come on. Come on. There we go. All right, beautiful. Dump all the sticks. All right, so we gotta go get a bunch of sticks. Why don't we build some more stuff up here? Uh, now, I do need some fencing-type stuff up here. I think I'm probably... Oh, boy. I guess I'm gonna use stone. Uh, stone will look really good. Also... Yeah, I think we're going to have to furnish this inside in another episode. Because i got a lot of stuff I want to make. I want to make a fireplace, like 68 stone for that. Um, so, yeah. Alright, let's just finish the bed for now. Uh, one other thing I would like to do, though, before the end of the video. Is put in some end tables. Uh, no, those are, those are actual tables. We need the other tables. I forget what they're called. Side tables, yes. All right, so we'll put one right here. Eh. I could do better than that. Uh, let's get rid of that. Try again. I didn't even try and line it up properly. Uh, it looks like it's lined up properly. Honestly, the legs don't seem lined up properly, but the other parts do. Um, all right, you know what? I think that's good. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, we'll put this one right here. All right, cool. And how many logs do these things take? Oh, you have six logs total. All right, I think I could do that. Let's go get some sticks. I was actually debating about the um, the bed placement. I was thinking right here might be a good spot as well, but I kind of like it over here because think about it. You know, you're up here, you're in bed. If something's going to attack, you're like, oh man, I'm waking up, and like, oh, are they coming up through there? Are they coming? Are they coming through the door right here? It's a good defensive spot. Puts me a little bit farther away from the enemy. Uh, if you watch a lot of Mr. Bond videos, you'll know that the, if someone's going to get an intruder in your house, this spot for the bed will definitely help you survive. No doubt. No freaking doubt. And now I can just come here and save the game. Beautiful. Although I'll probably end up saving the game down below, but I will come up here to sleep. I think that's awesome. All right. So what else do you, what we want up here? Um, well, you know, what? I think a weapon rack would be good up here, even though technically this is not the... You know, weapon part. What is it called? The um, the serpent barracks. This is not the armory, but still, it would be good to have a weapon rack where you sleep. Or I could start putting up lights. Now nah, let's put the weapon rack up. All right. So where is it's under storage? Uh, weapon rack. Okay. So where would be a good place? This would be a good place for a weapon rack. So like, you know, somebody's breaking in. Someone's messing messing with me. I could just grab stuff out of the weapon rack. Just in case they make it into the building. There'll be lots of weapon racks downstairs as well. But I think it'd be good to have one up, up here too. And I think what we're going to do is, before I finish that weapon rack, we are going to do a patrol of the wall to make sure the wall is looking good. I'm sure you guys are pretty interested in how my wall is holding up. Um, as you can see, I do have uh, building destruction on now. So um, my wall could be being torn down and I would never know about it. You know? So let's. I, I'm still up in the. I'm still up in the air on the fence about the wall. I. I'm kind of lean now. I'm kind of leaning towards um taking it down, and shortening it up. Like this part of the wall will stay. This part of the wall will stay. This part of the wall will stay. Right here, I will make a wall going from here all the way over to the other end, and then the rest of this wall can come down. Will I break it down? I don't know. Maybe I'll break it down. Maybe I'll just let them break it down. I don't freaking know. Uh, two walls is better than one, right? And if they break it down, who cares? Uh, that's what I'm kind of thinking. I'll have less trees inside my base that I can cut down, which will be kind of annoying because anytime I need trees, I'll have to go out and about and, you know, I get attacked and stuff. Um, but at the, at the end of the day, I, I think it's still probably a better 
a better idea. We'll see. Man, this freaking base is ginormous. I love it. I love it. All right, let's get some sticks and finish up that weapon rack. And then I think we're going to call it a video. What are we going to do next episode? You know, I really don't know. It's really up in the air at this point. I probably will not be working on the bedroom next episode, but that could change. Honestly, I really don't know. Uh, there's still a lot of things I have to do in the bedroom. I have to, I have to furnish it. I have to put down uh, fencing and everything. I want a fireplace in there. Um, I would finish the bedroom today if I had time, but it's, there's going to be a lot of work in that bedroom. It's not, it's not something I can feasibly finish today. So, um, But we did get a lot of it done, though. I mean... That is definitely the case. Plus, I have to make a, a a fencing thing around this building out here. I got a lot of stuff to do, uh, but I I don't know. I kind of want to try something new. Maybe um maybe I'll build it. Maybe I'll change up the wall next video. Maybe I'll work on the paths. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows what the future holds? And there we go. Weapon rack's done. Uh, I don't see any. Uh, we could put this on it. There we go. Weapon rack's done. All right, guys, I am going to call this one here. If you never joined the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.